Why I'll pass on endless shrimp, red lobster sales mix and profit margin. This is Ken Boyd with the accounting accidentally substack page. So if something is three, will you use more of it? I think the answer is, well, sure. A great example is MoviePass, which I wrote about here, which is on a prior Substack. We used MoviePass several years ago, and for a monthly fee, you could see up to one movie a day. My whole family joined and saw lots of movies. In fact, too many people took advantage of the offer, and MoviePass lost money. So here's the problem. There's a difference between customers not paying for a product or service and buyers taking advantage of an unprofitable model. And a good example of giving stuff away is content creators, how content creators make money or try to. So writers, bloggers, YouTubers, TikTok creators give away the vast majority, maybe 95% of what they create, and they try and sell the other 5%, or it could be 1%. In this scenario, giving a great deal of product or content away is part of a well-planned strategy. Think about the podcast you subscribe to, the newsletters you purchase, other content that you consume that you pay for. The seller is very aware of how much free content they must provide to keep you as a customer, and that strategy can be profitable. But free food, which is giving something away, is not working for Red Lobster. Too many seafood lovers. In April of 24, Bloomberg reported that Red Lobster was considering a bankruptcy filing, as, and as Business Insider reported, Red Lobster is bogged down by increased labor costs and expensive leases on its restaurants. Additionally, some observers were quick to blame financial roles on woes on its decision last year to make its endless shrimp promotion, which I'm sure you've seen advertised, which used to be an occasional limited time offering to be a permanent offering. Red Lobster's message for years was, for the seafood lover in you, that may sound familiar. You'll see this in a YouTube clip of a 1981 Red Lobster commercial, so over 40 years ago. Permanent endless shrimp brought in too many seafood lovers. Again, from Business Insider. While Red Lobster increased traffic somewhat, people coming in to chow down and all you can eat shrimp was a money bleeder. The company blamed it was shrimp for an $11 million loss in the third quarter of 23. And in the fourth quarter, it got even worse. They booked a $12.5 million operating loss due to endless shrimp. So what's the better approach? Well, the better approach is to find out what customers and prospects value and sell more of that. Every business, even companies that give away lots of products and services, must generate enough revenue from sales to cover all costs. The content creator who spends time and money to post 15 pieces of content a month can recover that cost. Maybe it's an expensive online course. The creator sells enough courses each month to cover all the content production costs and generate a profit. And the only way that works is if the customer sees value in the course. I'm willing to pay for value, and I'm sure you are too. It can come up with reasons why you do. A business like Red Lobster needs to take a hard look at sales mix, analyzing sales mix to improve profitability. HubSpot has a nice definition of sales mix. Sales mix is the proportion of each type of product sold in a business compared to the business's total sales. The purpose of calculating sales mix is to understand how sales of different types of products impact profits. So what Red Lobster needs to do is measure the profitability of each item on the menu and consider how many of those items they sell in a month or a year. So here are two items from the menu that I, and I added price, profit, and profit margin, just to give an example of sales mix. So profit margin is profit divided by sale price. So when you can think of profit margin as the profit you make for every dollar of sales. Profit margin allows you to make an apples to apples comparison with different prices. So I picked two items off the menu, Lobster Lover's Dream and Admiral's Feast. I came up with a sale price, a dollar amount of profit, and a percentage profit margin. And you'll notice that the Admiral's Feast is more expensive, but generates less profit, 9.4 versus 14.2. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that the product with the higher price is always more profitable. It's not always true. So what does Red Lobster need to do? They need to compute the profit margin on every item they sell, analyze how much of it they sell, and the goal is to market items that generate more profit margin. The company may also raise prices on some popular food choices that customers value because the diners may be willing to pay more because they think it has value. And finally, consider whether or not endless shrimp should be ended. I'm certainly not interested.
that's as far as we'll get right now. And for more content on accounting and finance, you can go to accountingabsolutely at substack.com. Thanks.